just when you thought it was safe to go back in the theater. My big mechanical shark buddy is back. Hi everyone, it's me, Grant the Movie and TV Guy, and it's time for a Raise on Popcorn with Grant retro review. That's right. Now, this review is a day late. Um, that is for a very good reason. And that review is of a movie. A classic movie. Movies and TV is what we do here. And that movie is Jaws. Um, but yeah, get to talk about Jaws. Uh, so there is no anniversary for Jaws, but it is regardless out in theaters. And I have seen it now twice in this weekend. I saw it Friday night in IMAX, and I saw it tonight in 3D. Real D 3D, so let's talk about it. Jaws! Um, do I really need to describe the plot of Jaws? Okay, go ahead. Uh, Jaws was originally released in 1975, and it basically, it was his, his, only his third theatrical film, following uh, the little scene, but also terrific duel and the Sugarland Express. But it was the big breakout movie... For a little, for a certain indie director known as Steven Spielberg, who uh, of course directed the film, and it also uh, birthed uh, summer blockbusters. Summer blockbusters really weren't a thing until Jaws. Uh, and what's Jaws about? Well, it, Jaws stars uh, the late great Roy Scheider. He plays um, uh, police cat, police chief Martin Brody, uh, who is. The best at what he does, um, he's a good father, he's a good husband, and a good man in general. Um, one night, uh, while skinny dipping, a young woman named Chrissy uh, dies um, a mysterious death at the hands of a shark. And she won't be the only one. Um, in the little tiny um, uh, New England uh, town of Amity Island. Um, despite the suggestion to uh, shut down the beaches and just sort of um, the kind of the kind of wackadoo mayor of the town says we can't do that. Fourth of July is coming, um, and Fourth of July comes, and eventually all the hell breaks loose, of course. And among and uh, before that, we also uh, witness one of the most horrifying deaths in movie history of a young boy named Alex Kettner. Spurned on by these tragedies, Brody teams up with a shark expert, uh, Hooper, played by, by the terrific Richard Dreyfuss, um, and then eventually with um, a salty and semi-crazed uh, ship captain named Quint, played by the late great Robert Shaw, who damn it should have gotten a best actor not or best supporting actor nomination, but never did for this film, which is a tragedy in the history of the Oscars. Um, as well as Spielberg not getting Best Director, um, they soon find themselves taking on the water and taking on the shark. But they soon discover that this particular shark will not go down without a fight and without spilling some blood. Let the blockbuster badassery begin. So, Jaws, what else do I need to say? <laughs> it's one of the greatest films ever made. Jaws is one of those movies, I saw it twice Today and I waited on this view, not not even just for this, because I wanted to. The other the three D showing I went to with family. This is one of those movies that is a rite of passage. It's like Star Wars, or Close Encounters, or you know Harry Potter films like that, where you know you sit down with your kid of a certain age and you watch Jaws. This is one of those movies that will never go away. It will never age. A hundred years from now people are going to still be watching Jaws and are still going to not want to go swimming for a year after watching it. It's ten, It's just pure, stripped-down, terrific filmmaking. It's, it's just pure, primal thrills. All three of the lead actors are incredible. The supporting cast down to the smallest speaking role is great. Um, and just Spielberg, especially watching it again, you just can't help but appreciate it. Now, Spielberg also did not get a Best Director nomination for this, which... Even Spielberg himself has complained about, and for good reason. He's owed that little bit of egotism. You watch this movie, and you realize that he creates such this perfect swell of chaos and quiet mixed together. Where even when the shark isn't on screen, you're riveted because these characters are well written. The the and then even the pace, the way that everyone's talking over one another. But then they'll have these little nuggets of quiet, like 
the mother of the young Kettner boy uh, speak monologue to Brody about her, you know, bereavement, or the first terrific scene with Shaw. And you really feel Spielberg's love of filmmaking. He was young here. This is one of his first films, and yet he brings this sense of just the master's touch that he still has to this day. I love Jaws. I love this movie. I could watch it every day of the week. This is one of my favorite films of all time. It's one of the greatest of all time, indubitably. If someone This is the same way I felt about E.T. If someone tells you who watch it that they don't genuinely like Jaws, question them about it. Because they did. And you know what? Yeah. No surprise there. Bang. Five out of five stars for Jaws. Just what a movie. Really, what a movie. Like, you cannot go wrong with this movie. It's perfect. There, I said it. Yes, even the mechanical shark. It's perfect. I'm not going to take criticism for it. All right. But that being said, trailer trash. Um, now, because I saw both versions, all these trailers are the same except for one different one in the 3D version and one different one in the IMAX version. I made sure of it. So, those trailers, so I'm going to combine the two. The Woman King looks great. Ticket to Paradise looks good. Avatar The Way of Water looks good. Sick of the trailer though. Black Panther with Kind of Forever looks really good. Moon Age Daydream, cannot wait for it. Black Adam looks great. Oppenheimer looks great. As And then in 3D, the trailer for the original Avatar, which is being re-released in a few weeks. So that'll be exciting. Um, uh, and was there Sharma? Of course, yeah. Jaws, um, you do not see basically the fate completely of the characters is not perfectly synced until the very end of the credits. And they're not long, so stay for it. Now, we have another segment. And that is, oh, you know what it is. Show me some Ds. How would I rate the 3D? I gotta tell you guys. Post-conversion 3D is a little bit of a crapshoot because it's one of the situations, especially with an older film. But I have to say. Jurassic Park 3D, I kind of said, was the top of the mountain for this technology, and Titanic. I think Shark, or I think, uh, Sharks. Jaws 3D, the 3D conversion of this, is the best yet for a classic film. That was not intended to be in 3D. Really. I did the, what they call the glasses off test. Every once in a while, I would kind of lift the glasses off, and there was never not some blur there. They did a really good job, but it really... Um, I took my grandmother to this movie. She's a hundred. She thought the 3D was great. And she remembers back in the days when it was really primitive. Like, even before, like, Spy Kids 3D, when, like, people my age were kids, where it was, like, the red and blue. Man, it really, it really looked good in 3D. Um, alright. That's it. Um, we will be back tomorrow for a review that I have been waiting for talk to you guys about since back in January. This is when I saw it. It is now playing in art houses this weekend. It will be on streaming on movie next weekend. And that movie is The Cathedral. We will have a review of that tomorrow. And I'm going to tell you, basically spend fi the 15 minutes I'm allotted to tell you all why you should see this weird little experimental art film that is one of my very favorite films of the year so far. And probably of the year total by the end of it. So... That is tomorrow. You'll also have reviews coming up in the coming week. Monday, we'll have a review of the Comedy Central film, Out of Office. Next week, we you can expect reviews of Pinocchio, as well as Brahmaster Part 1, Shiva, um, which I'm seeing in IMAX, cannot wait, um, as well as Barbarian and Medieval. Um, and then Clerks 3 is a week from Tuesday. That'll all be next time. And until next time, I'm Grand the Movie and TV Guy. I see it all. Happy to share it with you. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I love what class is missed. I love you thousand. Be kind to one another. Uh, if you like this video, give a like if you want to. Give a subscribe if you want to. Give it the bell. I don't know what it does that's supposed to do. So I've been told. Uh, leave a comment. It really helps out. Even if it's just, hey Grant, I like waffles. Um, it really helps out. Um, if you want to find me elsewhere, reviews, lists, and other fun stuff, um, you can check me out on Littlebikes.com at Raised on Popcorn with Grant. Um, Facebook, Raised on Popcorn with Grant. You can also find me, if you want to know more about my thoughts on TV shows as they go, you can check me out. I just joined this week. Serialized. Uh, you can find me there on Raised on Popcorn. Just Raised on Popcorn. That is who I am. You can also uh, check out my podcast, Raised on Popcorn. You get the podcast on Spotify and Anchor. 
Some of you already have, but even if you haven't, take care of yourself, take care of your mental health. It's incredibly important. And I want to know down below, what did you think of Jaws in IMAX and 3D? Did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? How could you hate this? But did you? Uh, you think my opinion's good? Think I'm full of shit? Comment below and let me know. And until we meet again, we were all raised on popcorn. Make my mouth extra butter. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care. See y'all. Bye.